It finally feels like the future of smartphones is unfolding right before our eyes. Literally. Leaks are pouring in, excitement is building, and Samsung seems ready to pull off something the world's been waiting for since the first Galaxy Fold a phone that folds not once, but twice. And from what's surfacing online, this isn't just another fancy concept. This could be the boldest Galaxy yet, a real trifold phone that turns from a pocket-sized device into a full on tablet in seconds. Welcome back, viewers. Sam here. If you love staying ahead of the tech curve, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss the next deep dive into the world's most exciting gadgets. Now, let's get into it. Because what Samsung is working on right now is wild. Newly leaked animations show how this trifold phone will handle multitasking, and it's the most futuristic software demo Samsung's ever teased. You'll be able to open three apps at once, drag them around like floating windows, and even move from the cover screen to the massive internal display without skipping a beat. The transitions look buttery smooth, and the design, it's next level. The phone folds inward with two hinges, giving you three connected screens that open up to a 10-inch display. Basically, it's a tablet that fits in your jeans pocket, and if the leaks are accurate, it's also gonna pack some serious power under the hood. Camera leaks suggest a 200 megapixel sensor with up to 100X zoom, which, if true, puts it right in the same class as the Galaxy S25 Ultra. Think about that for a second, a trifold phone with the same photographic punch as Samsung's flagship Ultra series. That's insane. But the magic doesn't stop there. Samsung's reportedly baking Galaxy AI and Samsung DeX right into the system, allowing users to switch between phone, tablet, and desktop modes seamlessly. The leaked footage even shows AI-assisted features like SmartNote taking multitasking recommendations and automatic layout adjustments when you unfold or fold the device. It's like Samsung took all its best software tricks and crammed them into one device. Now, the name is still a mystery. Some reports say Galaxy Z Trifold, while others hint at a new Galaxy G Fold. Whatever they decide to call it, the release seems closer than anyone expected. Multiple certification filings have already surfaced, hinting that the first official unveiling could happen as soon as this month. The only catch, it might not launch everywhere at once. Early rumors suggest limited availability, possibly only in South Korea and China before a global rollout later this year. And that might not be such a bad thing. Samsung doesn't seem to be chasing big sales numbers with this one. It's more about showing the world that when it comes to pushing the boundaries of design, the Galaxy brand still leads the pack, especially now when the foldable market is heating up faster than ever. Speaking of competition, Huawei already made waves with its Mate X-T2, a trifold that folds in a Z shape and offers multiple display sizes. Samsung's strategy, however, is completely different going for an inward folding mechanism that protects the screen from scratches and bumps. The approach looks cleaner, sleeker, and arguably more durable. But let's be real, a phone like this won't come cheap. Rumors put the price tag somewhere around $3,000 in. Yeah, it's going to hurt the wallet. But at the same time, this isn't a phone meant for everyone. This is Samsung flexing what it's capable of. It's a technology showcase, not just another product drop, Meanwhile, over in another corner of the tech world, a company known for its flashy designs just took a hit, and fans are not happy. The new Nothing Phone 3 was supposed to be the company's first true flagship. Instead, it sparked more backlash than buzz. The reactions have been brutal. Many fans feel the phone just doesn't live up to the hype. And the biggest complaint, the processor. The Nothing Phone 3 runs on the Snapdragon 8's Gen 4, which sounds powerful, but it's actually a step down from the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 that powers Samsung's Galaxy S24 lineup. People are calling it a premium phone with mid-tier power. And honestly, they're not wrong. Then there's the fingerprint sensor. Instead of using the faster and more secure ultrasonic tech like Samsung does, nothing stuck with an optical sensor. The kind that flashes a bright light under your finger in the dark. Not exactly ideal for a so-called flagship. And when users discovered that the cheaper Nothing Phone 3 Pro actually has a bigger telephoto camera sensor, things really got awkward. It doesn't help that the signature glyph LEDs, the lights that made the Nothing series stand out, are gone. In their place, a dot matrix display on the back that most people find more gimmicky than useful. Combine that with a weaker front glass and no LTPO display for adaptive refresh rates, and it's clear why fans feel a bit betrayed. 
And while all that's going down, Google's dealing with a much more serious issue, one that's literally heating up. Pixel 6a users have been reporting overheating problems that, in rare cases, could even cause battery damage. To fix it, Google rolled out a forced update that slows down charging speeds to reduce the risk of overheating. The move makes sense for safety, but it's not exactly a good look when you're telling users they can't charge their phone at full speed because it might get too hot. Worse yet, Google completely removed the old firmware versions from its servers, meaning users can't roll back even if they want to. The good news is that some affected users are being offered free battery replacements or partial refunds. Still, if you own a Pixel 6a, you'll definitely want that update installed ASAP, safety first, right? So between Samsung gearing up for one of the most ambitious devices ever made, nothing trying to recover from a rough launch, and Google fighting literal fire issues, this year's smartphone scene is wild. Every brand's trying something new. Some are pushing limits, others are hitting walls. But one thing's for sure, the next few months are gonna reshape how we think about what a phone can be. So now I've gotta ask, would you actually buy a trifold phone if it cost three grand? Or do you think it's just Samsung showing off? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. That's all for this one, but trust me, the next few weeks are going to be packed with major reveals and I'll be covering them all right here. Until then, take care, stay curious, and I'll catch you in the next video.